Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, I like to share some important points before you update to the latest iOS 15 version on your iPhone and iPad. It is going to drop uh, by tonight in India for me. It's going to arrive at 10 30 p.m. approximately. And it is not kind of a confirmed time because Apple servers, you know, when we uh, when they release it globally, when we try to update to uh, the latest iOS 15 version as it is a major release, the servers could go busy. So the very first thing that you should know is that if you're trying uh, tonight for the update or tomorrow morning if you're in different country and once you see the Twitter notifications and other emails about the iOS 15 has arrived when you try to uh, check for the system software update from settings general and then software update you may not see the software update immediately on your iOS device that is because the servers could be under heavy load and some users may see for the first few hours they'll simply see that the device is up to date and there is no update available from the Apple server. So don't worry about it. You have to try after a couple of hours or few hours. You know, depending on the server uh, load and availability, you will see the iOS software update, you know, on your iPhone and iPad. The next important thing is once the update comes out, some users, you know, immediately rush up and update. That shouldn't be the case because you need to check the app's compatibility before updating to the major release whenever the operating system level update happens some frameworks some new additions the code changes that they have made may not be you know compatible with some applications so you need to make sure that your apps are compatible with the iOS 15 the latest version that is going to drop today then you can update to the latest version some banking applications specifically and if you are working in a company and your company required some applications for internal communication and for other you know server related access and purposes then you need to make sure to, to check with the IT department of your company that the apps are compatible with the upcoming iOS 15 software update otherwise after you updated it you will of course have a limited window to roll back to iOS 14 stable version iOS 15 has that beautiful feature that you can roll back for some reasons if you don't like the iOS 15 and you can still receive the important security updates with the iOS 14 itself however it will create some unnecessary you know uh, time and you know some tasks for you to perform in order to roll back to the iOS 14 version and the next important thing you should know is after updating to the iOS 15 or iPad OS 15 on your iPhone and iPad you may see some battery related performance either positive or negative for some users with every iOS update sometimes you know the device and the software depending on the data that you have on your device and your usage it will take like two to three days to adopt and you know to completely to set for your device and the battery performance may be kind of affected for some users for some iPhone specific model users it may be good for iPhone 12 user but it may may go bad for iPhone 6 or 7 users so my recommendation is if you have some apps compatibility issues as I have said in the previous step or you are worried about the battery performance you could always wait for one or two weeks you know before updating to your older iPhone models specifically and if everything looks smooth and even if you have a battery related performance after a week of usage then you have to perform all settings reset once to see whether any software related problems is there that is causing the battery drain and that can be fixed with all settings reset if there is no performance improvements even after the all settings reset the battery is still bad then all you have to do is connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer take a full backup of your device and then perform the iOS restore where you will be installing the iOS 15 as a fresh installation on your device that will definitely help for you know people who have the problems the battery related problems and performance issues not fixed even after performing the all settings reset and the final one is some people have a question like whether uh, I should update it via iTunes or via the OTA via the Wi-Fi on my device the thing is uh, pretty simple from what I have understood every few updates once like three or four iOS update once I normally do the update via iTunes and people who have problems related to the battery or performance have to do the uh, software update it, not just the major software releases any iOS software update even iOS 15.1.1 or any smaller updates through iTunes the software update via iTunes it downloads the entire full iOS package and then it performs the clean installation make sure you have taken a backup of your iPhone before performing any sort of uh, update or clean installation of the iOS on your uh, iPhone so if anything goes 
wrong, if your devices break, if you're stuck at the boot loop, your data will be safe. That is very important. And I hope these things helped you to understand and you know to decide whether to update to the iOS 15 immediately or not. And if you have any questions after updating to the iOS 15 on your iPhone or iPad and you have any problem, you can share the questions at dailyted.com slash answers. We have a separate question and answer forum there where you can ask the question so that you know the answers will help more people who have similar problem. Thanks for watching and if you find this video useful, don't forget to share it with your friends on Twitter and Facebook. Have a wonderful day.